I got promoted months ago as the Chief Executive Officer and a President in this prestigious company. Being one in this corporate world is such a challenge on my part. I work tough day and night just to grab this once-in-a-lifetime most sought-after position. Many envied me when I formally received such promotion. But time and time again, I humbly and confidently said to myself, I deserve it. God in His most perfect time placed me in this position. Thank you. I, being your boss, has the responsibility to look after the welfare of my subordinates. After all, I want to maintain a healthy working environment and atmosphere, as well as work ethics and character smoothly transcend above all efforts and endeavors for the good of our company. Sir, Mr. Chavez accused me of having an illicit affair with a very close friend of mine and spreading malicious gossips to the other employees here, which I abhorred the most. I heard about it. Is that true, Mr. Chavez? Yes, sir, I may say true. But Miss Chinky once placed me in an ignominious situation one day in the cafeteria, telling everyone around in her table that I wooed her and that she turned me down. Wanting to adventure? I understand your situation, Mr. Chavez. But you need to think twice, thrice, many times before doing it. You may have satisfied and pleased yourself in taking revenge with Miss Chinky. But do you have peace of mind? I mean, you need to consider her frailties. I have started to think and ponder about it, sir. I wanted to approach her and make sorry for what I did. But I was overcome with intense hesitation. You're such an unfair guy, Mr. Chavez. You are evading me despite I want to befriend you. Yes, I admit that I like you, but please be gentle with me. Tell me frankly what you feel towards me and I will understand. Wanting to tell you that I'm sorry for what I did to you. Miss Chinky, you may be whelmed with emotion, but don't let it rule over your mind. I'm sure that Mr. Chavez has his reasons behind his actions. I could hardly lose the two or both of you since you are highly prized assets in our company. Both of you have done well and excellently in the realm of sales and promotions. I fully comprehend your love, devotion, dedication, and loyalty to JYC Joint Venture Appraisal and Realty Company. In fact, recently, our company received awards and recognitions because of your exemplary performances, in which I would like to congratulate both of you once again. I believe we can be the best of friends, Miss Chinky. I'm sorry, and please give me the chance to prove it. Why not, Mr. Chavez? Maybe from the best of friends to the best lovers. Ha ha ha. I'm sorry for what I did against you. Miracles do happen every now and then. But for now, you have to concentrate on working and continue doing what you have started for this company. I do steadfastly believe in God's own time. He will make all things possible and beautiful. Both of you shall wait patiently. Mr. Chavez will serve as my inspiration in everything that I will do for the welfare, benefit, and good for the company. It should be God first. However, second is family, and you are third, Mr. Chavez. Oh, you see you like me, Miss Chinky, aren't you? Nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, God first.
Isaac and his family, and also Ted is you, Miss Chinky. I am convinced now with what I'm saying. I say it in my inmost chamber of my unadulterated heart. Thanks, Mr. Chavez. I am deeply flattered and honored with your words. We'll do more exploits for the company and for our CEO. Well, well. So much for those discussions. Now that you have reconciled with each other, why not give you both a treat? A treat for my beloved CEO? I don't have any idea. How about you, Miss Chinky? Same as you, Mr. Chavez. I don't have any idea at all. I have been started thinking now. Oh, what will it be? Tonight, I will set you your first date. You both deserve a dinner treat. That is my one way of saying thank you for your unending love and support to the company. Hope you will never change the way you are. Thank you very much, sir. I will escort Miss Chinky tonight. Well, well. My pleasure, Mr. Chavez. Thank you very much, sir. I would like to commend everyone for their continuous commitment for the company. We are working here as a team. In other words, together, everyone achieves more. I am looking forward for more years to come, more innovations, more rewards, and commendations. I can't make and do it by myself, but I need you. And with this, I would like to formally announce the promotions of our two most valued sales and promotions officers. Mr. Chavez, and Miss Chinky. Mr. Frank Chavez is our Chief Operating Officer and Miss Chinky is our Chief Financial Officer. Congratulations! Being the Chief Operating Officer is a great challenge on my part. I am persuasively certain that not only in my abilities, capabilities, skills, and energy that made me such, but most of all, character that makes me who I am. I am not perfect. I made mistakes once, twice, thrice, many times, yet I learned from those mistakes and decided and wanted to change my attitude. Thanks to our beloved CEO and President, you have been my inspiration. I also, being the Chief Financial Officer, is a wondrous opportunity to serve this company. Like Mr. Chavez, I made mistakes, yet willingly learned how to correct those mistakes and change the attitude of becoming the best version of me. In other words, character plays a very important role in the workplace. Our company has the system. I have the skills, potentials, capacities, and above all, I have the integrity, the character. Thank you very much, our beloved CEO and President. You've been my inspiration.